Hi everybody, it's Casey Williams. I'm a big fan of the Cadillac Escalade. It's a big bad truck that do big bad truck things. But not everybody needs a big bad truck to haul the family to church, to take them to dinner, maybe even to tow a small boat. For that, what you really need is a three-wheel crossover, like the vehicle we have here today. It's a 2022 Cadillac XT6 Platinum Edition. Let's go have a look at it. The XT6 is considerably smaller than an Escalade, but still has a strong family resemblance. And you really see it in the front. The squinty LED headlamps, the grill with all the chrome accents, I think it looks really good. And I even like the little details. You know, Cadillac's always known for little styling flourishes. And even the little chrome inserts here in the grill take on the shape of the big badge. I think it looks good. The vertical light tubes here for the driving lamps, again, just gives it that vertical look that you expect for a Cadillac. Coming down the side, you know, I think some people have complained that it looks a little too Volvo and not enough Cadillac, but it's a handsome vehicle. 20 inch alloy wheels, nice use of chrome, and it comes into the tail lamps to give it that tail fin look in the back. I think overall, you know, it gives it the Cadillac signature. I like the exhaust, kind of nicely integrated into the lower fascia. Power hatch. And coming inside, you've got the third row seat. It's a little bit tight. Um, this is really the six seat arrangement. You've got twin captain's chairs in the middle and then two seats here in the back. And it's a little bit, little bit tight for adults, but enough space. And I do like that there are power folding. Press the buttons here, down they go. And quite a bit of luggage space once you've done that. The XT6 may be one generation behind the Escalade in terms of style. You know, the Escalade has a big wrap around, glassy touch screens that look really cool. But it still looks very nice, works very well, and feels very luxurious, especially in the Platinum Edition. There's just layers of material, just very lush and feels very expensive. You've got the leather here and the suede and the wood grain and just and the chrome, just looks really nice. Suede headliner, You've got the soft leather seats too, feel very nice. Um, the seats are heated and ventilated up front, they're heated in the outboard rows in the back. You've got a nice thick heated leather wrap steering wheel. And even the French stitching here on the horn pad looks really nice in the logo. Again, everything just feels very expensive and very nice inside. Exquisitely done job. You've got the twin panel sunroof, Bose audio system. Really everything you expect in a top end Cadillac. I like the touch screen. Again, it's not the wraparound, but it works very much the same way. It's a very standard Cadillac. Easy to use icons, audio, phone, navigation, climate. It works well, swipe it, voice controlled, however you want to do it. Again, very simple. You can connect your devices with Bluetooth, but also, of course, 4G Wi Fi. Got the wireless phone charger here in the console. Slide it right in. Very easy, nice. And you can you can control it here, or if you want to do it the European way, you've got volume, seek, and you've got the joy wheel down here. If you want to drive it like it's a BMW, I could do without that. I prefer this up here, frankly. Um, Tri-zone automatic climate control. You've got the two up here, also in the back. You did cool seat buttons are all right here. Feels very nice. Um, on the safety front, the full suite, as you might expect in a vehicle like this. It's got the multicolor heads-up display. And I think nobody does a heads-up display better than General Motors. They look good. They're crisp. They're clear. The buttons are over here on the side. It's very easy to adjust them. You're not going by menus deep as in some of the German cars trying to figure it out. It's got automatic emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, blind spot warning, rear cross path detection. It also has a safety alert seat. So if you're backing out and a car is coming from the other direction, the seat will buzz in that direction. But it, it, it'll alert you where there's danger as you're driving down the road. If I had something that I would like to improve on the interior, again, I think the seat's comfort and padding maybe isn't quite up to some of the German and European standards. The dashboard is starting to look a little old. I think, you know, the analog gauges are easy to use, but you know, a lot of competitors now are using full flat screens, multicolor, look really nice. But overall, it's just a really, it's, it's a nice car, it's an easy car to drive, nice vehicle, and plenty of space for the family inside too. The base XT6 comes with a two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine, but you're gonna skip that. It doesn't produce nearly enough power and just sounds really kind of gravelly and rough. Instead, you're going to step up to the 3.6 liter V6 that we have here. This delivers 310 horsepower and 271 pound-feet of torque. I don't think that's an overabundant amount of power in this vehicle, but it's enough to get it done. What I'd really like to see is a twin-turbo V6 producing something close to 400 horsepower. That would really be impressive. So maybe we'll get a Cadillac XT6V edition at some point. But the rest of the vehicle is nice to drive. It's got a 9-speed automatic transmission. This has all-wheel drive. It's very smooth, very easy to drive. It has real-time damping on suspension, so it you know rides comfortable on the road. If you put it into a corner, it doesn't just heave right over. And it has the drive mode selector too, so you can adjust the the steering heft, the throttle responsiveness, and give the car a little more attitude on the weekends. Fuel economy for a big three-wheel crossover, I also don't think it's too bad. 18 miles per gallon in the city, 25 on the highway. 
So overall, a very pleasant vehicle to drive, whether you're just getting to work and back, taking the kids to school, or doing a very long trip on the highway. So would I like to have a Cadillac Escalade? Yeah. Do I need it every day? Absolutely not. I think for most people, a three-row crossover like the XT6, especially in the Platinum with all the luxury package, is exactly what they need. Upgrade to the V6 and really enjoy it. So the XT6 starts just under $49,000. This one has equipped $70,965. Next week for another fun car. Until then, storm forward.